हरे कृष्ण फ्रेंड्स राधे राधे वेलकम बैक टू माई कान दर्शन द तुलसी प्लांट और इंडियन बेसिल इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सिम्बॉल इन द हिंदू रिलीजियस ट्रेडिशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट्स रिलीजियस सिग्निफिकेंस इट इज ऑफ ग्रेट मेडिसिनल एंड इज अ प्राइम हर्ब इन आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट एज वी ऑल नो दैट तुलसी लीव्स आर बीन यूज फॉर वेरियस पूजाज एंड आर ऑल्सो ऑफर टू गॉड एंड गॉडेसेस but many of us are not aware that tulsi leaves are not offered to lord shiva and lord ganesha or the reason behind it so today i am going to share the story of why we can't offer tulsi leaves to lord shiva and lord ganesha but before we begin please subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you never miss any new updates Now let's begin our video. The tulsi is the most sacred plant that we worship. There are two types of tulsi plant. Ram tulsi having light green leaves generally of bigger size and another one is Krishna tulsi having dark green leaves which is used for the worship of Lord Vishnu. Without tulsi leaves Lord Krishna does not like to accept flowers. food or sandalwood paste the plant is considered holy and is worshiped regularly in the hindu religion the tulsi plant is referred to be one of the most sacred plants that have all the medicinal qualities it is also believed that tulsi should not be chewed with teeth as tulsi is the wife of lord vishnu thus chewing is considered as a disrespectful act thus one can rather swallow tulsi leaves rather than chewing it moreover one can also use the powdered or juiced form of the tulsi leaves as a herbal medicine tulsi should also not be plucked or watered on the days of ekadashi the philosophy behind this is that shrimati tulsi maharani the pure devotee of the lord vishnu keeps fasting on the whole ekadashi and takes rest on dwadashi so the devotee in order to not to disturb or hurt her don't pluck leaves even on sundays the leaves of tulsi should not be plucked or watered it should not be plucked even after the sunlight tulsi leaves are offered to all gods and goddesses except lord ganesha lord shiva and goddess durga according to shiva puran Lord Shiva does not like the offerings of tulsi leaves on the Shivalinga. As per the Puran, there is a story behind this. In ancient time, there existed a demon or asur named Jalandhar. He was a living hell for gods and sages. His atrocities were getting brutal and out of hand every day, and no god had any idea how to deal with the asura. Jalandhar was married to a woman named Vrinda. She was wholeheartedly devoted to her husband and was a truly a virtuous wife. This was the biggest complication that no god was able to kill the demon because of her prayers to Lord Vishnu which kept him safe at all the times and situation. Finally, finding no solution to the problem, the gods decided to ask Lord Shiva for help. Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu plotted against the demon and his wife even though Lord Vishnu was heartbroken to cheat on his biggest and ardent devotee while Lord Shiva and Jalandhar were engrossed in a battle Lord Vishnu transfigured himself as Jalandhar Vrinda's virtuousness was broken as soon as she touched Lord Vishnu's feet thinking he was her husband however upon touching him She immediately knew he wasn't her husband Jalandhar and asked him to show his real form. Upon Vishnu revealing his true identity, Vrinda broke down completely and cursed Lord Vishnu to turn into a stone which is known as the Shaligram in the Puranas. While on the other hand, Jalandhar had become powerless and Lord Shiva then killed him ending the misery of gods and sages. Meanwhile, Vrinda was given a boon to be reborn as Holy Tulsi, but she denied Lord Shiva to be ever worshipped with any part of her. 
इट इज़ फॉर दिस रीजन दैट शिवलिंग शुड नेवर बी ऑफर्ड तुलसी वाइल वर्शिपिंग विष्णु इज इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट हर तुलसी लीव शुड ऑल्सो नॉट बी ऑफर टू लॉर्ड गणेशा लॉर्ड गणेशा इज वर्शिप बिफोर डूइंग एनी ऑस्पिशियस वर्क और डूइंग एनी पूजा सेरेमनी इट इज बिलीव दैट लॉर्ड गणेश हैज द पावर ऑफ रिमूविंग एनी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन दुर्वाग्रास एंड रेड कलर जसवंती फ्लावर आर फेवरेट ऑफ लॉर्ड गणेशा बट तुलसी विच इज अ सीक्रेट प्लांट इज नेवर ऑफर टू लॉर्ड गणेशा Let us see the story behind this. Tulsi is the daughter of Dharmaraj. In her youthful days, she was a great devotee of Lord Vishnu. Once, she was walking along the bank of River Ganga. She came across beautiful Lord Ganesha sitting in deep meditation. Like Tulsi Ma, Lord Ganesh was also in his prime and of marriageable age. Plus, both were devoted to forms of Lord Vishnu. So Tulsi immediately fell in love with Lord Ganesha and she asked Ganesha to marry her. At that time Lord Ganesh was a bachelor which is natural for any meditator. So Lord Ganesh was not looking for marrying anyone. Lord Ganesh politely refused Tulsi for marriage. This broke her heart. Tulsi took this as an insult and she became very angry. In her anger Tulsi cursed Ganesh that one day he will get married against his wish of not getting married lord ganesh also in turn cursed tulsi that she will be married to an asur and then under a blessings of the sages she will become a plant listening to this curse tulsi realized her mistake and she begged lord ganesha for forgiveness and prayed to him with divine hands listening her sincere prayer lord ganesha became pleased and he said you will be regarded as supreme among the plants all gods will be happy with your fragrance lord vishnu will be specially glad to receive the worship with your leaves but you will always be unacceptable by me in worship saying this lord ganesha left the place so friends this was the story related to why we can't offer tulsi leaves to lord shiva and lord ganesha i hope you all like my video now we shall meet in my next video Till then take care radhe radhe